The bankruptcy troubles of the party pieces business owned by Carol and Michael Middleton came to light last summer. Uncomfortable news stories followed the royal family as they struggled to repay creditors who were owed more than $3.2 million but could not collect from Princess Catherine's parents. Now that the issue has taken an unexpected turn, the Middleton's old business is even more fraught with awkwardness, and the couple's finances are under intense scrutiny. Even with Interpath Advisory's assistance, the palace-adjacent couple is having trouble paying Carol and Michael who had hired them to guide them through bankruptcy. The Mirror reports that they owe the company more than $326,000, and have only paid about $64,000 so far. Middleton's will not be paying the whole amount, the business has admitted, according to The Times. Starting from scratch, Carol and Michael established the thriving party pieces business in 1987. Carol was not bashful about connecting her party supply company with royal festivities, such as the king's coronation, after Catherine married into the royal family. Social isolation was the norm during the pandemic, making recovery from the disaster a slow and arduous process. She consequently failed to pay her suppliers, leaving them in a precarious position. We started chazzing. They were making excuses, a representative for the clients who had not yet received payment, informed the Daily Mail in 2023. Her apology was heartfelt. She said, I'm personally going to deal with it. When one of the supervisors failed to handle the situation, I will fix everything. This is too much for me to pay all at once, so I'll be making weekly payments instead. Carol stopped answering the phone when the situation became too much. Carol was supported by James Sinclair, who acquired the party pieces company in bankruptcy without taking on its obligations in an interview with The Telegraph. His opinion was that it was not Carol's fault. In my opinion, they destroyed it after she sold half of the company to an investment firm when she was 65 years old. According to Sinclair, Carol and Michael didn't get any of the administration proceeds because their decreasing interest was sold off quickly. She didn't receive a substantial sum of money when she sold her business. Maybe the Miltons aren't as well off as everyone thinks they are, and they're just like the rest of us struggling in this economy. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications for more of the same. See you soon.